So anyway, it took them, it took like three different nurses and like ten different tries for them to finally get Kyson on the, the, um, the fetal monitor because he's like way tucked back there. And they kept just getting two of Caden's heartbeats and they were like, do they have the same heart rate? And I was like, no, they're like 20 beats per minute apart. So anyway, they got Kyson on the fetal monitor and then they got Caden on the fetal monitor. Uh, we just had to sit there and um, they just monitored everything. And I think I had three contractions in like a 30 or 40 minute period, which she said is no it's normal. So so meanwhile, while I was having the non-stress test done, um, I was asking her questions because my doctor told me that I could deliver at whatever, you want your bread? Yeah, eat it. It's for you. My doctor told me that I could deliver at whatever hospital because he has um, privileges to all the hospitals around here. So he said I could go wherever I wanted. And I was, I, I actually wanted to go to a different hospital that, it was a different hospital than the one that I was at at the time. And so I was asking them, the, asking them all of their policies. And they only allow three people tops, including your support person, in the delivery room. But twins, um, it is mandatory for all twins to deliver in the OR where there is only one person allowed during the delivery and they may or may not be able to videotape. So um, I have talked to my doctor and he is 100% okay with um, let, um, having a video camera in there. I just feel like how many times do you push two heads out of your vagina? <laughs> like I really want to get that on camera. And so I asked the nurse if sometimes if the doctor can kind of overrule what the nurses prefer, whether or not like videotaping wise. And she said sometimes he can, so I'm just going to talk to him and see if I do end up delivering at that hospital, if he can maybe talk his way into letting us videotape. Because it's how it's going to work is I'm going to labor in the labor and delivery room. And then when I'm, she said when I'm 8 to 9 centimeters, they're going to roll me over to the OR, which is the operating room for those for those of you who don't know. It's just in case something happens to where I need an emergency C-section. And then I'm going to push, so everyone's going to be like in scrubs and everything. And I'm going to push there and deliver them there. And then right after that, they're going to roll me back into labor and delivery while they get a postpartum room ready. So it's going to be really hectic. <laughs> like, that's, I don't know. I really don't like the way it's set up, but it's the best thing for them. So it's just really frustrating that I can only have one person. And my doctor said that I might be able to have two people in there because it's twins. But um, it's really just going to depend on how everything's going. Anyway, yeah, you can only have three people in the delivery room and you can only have four people in the postpartum room at all times. It, and that's including your support person. So it's like if I had family that came and say like six family members came, only four of them can go up at a time, which kind of really sucks. So that's just that one particular hospital. And I'm actually going to go to a, it's called a stork tour at the other hospital on Tuesday to see, to ask them their policies and see if everything's the same over there. Um, then I'll go from there for choosing which hospital I want to deliver at. So anyway, um, the results of both of those tests, um, they actually both use the same wording. They both said that um, both of the babies passed the test with flying colors, which is fantastic to hear. Um, uh, every, pretty much every doctor that I've talked to and every like nurse and everything has said that it is pretty much, my pregnancy is like the best case scenario for twins at this time, which is amazing. Like what mom doesn't want to hear that? Then um, while I was at the hospital, she called Dr. Harvey and um, asked him when he, when he wants me to come in again. And he said that I should have, he, that I have to do the biophysical profile once a week and then see the doctor. All right, now it's every two weeks, but I guess it's about to switch to every week. Basically what's gonna happen is she said that the ultrasound part of the biophysical profile is um, supposed to be on a different day than the non-stress test because the goal of the whole non-stress test thing is to make sure that your babies are doing okay all the time and not just during one period of time on this one day. So um, what I have to do is I'm going to be going in for a non-stress test once a week, an ultrasound once a week, and an appointment once a week. And what it comes down to is I'm being I'm going to be monitored every 72 hours. Which, in my opinion, it kind of seems too invasive, especially since um, everything is going okay. There's not any problems. But I'm going to go along with it just because um, it's the best thing to do, you know. So I have to go back in for a non-stress non test at the hospital tomorrow. And then my next appointment is on Wednesday where we're going to schedule an ultrasound. And it's just going to be this ongoing process until they're born. And the nurse said that if problems were going to arise, um, it would probably happen within the next week or two. 
All right, so that was pretty much all for that appointment. Sorry, it was like an update that took forever. Also this week, I finished my Bradley Method class. Uh, we got through the whole thing, and my mom, I don't know if I mentioned it, but my mom was going to the classes with me, and she learned so much, and she had an epidural with me and my brother, and I had an epidural with Lilia, so we came in there um, knowing the epidural side of it, and now we're both like, yes, no epidural, natural birth, let's go. <laughs> my plan is to, to stay at home and labor at home for as long as possible and then um, hopefully my goal is to when I'm starting to hit transition I'm gonna um, go over to the hospital so I can be at the hospital for as least long as possible uh, I just want to be at home for as long as possible because I want to avoid any type of intervention uh, or unnecessary intervention that I can <laughs> I think Last night, Caden might have flipped again, so I think he might be head down again. And I'm, I'm kind of getting used to how it feels. He'll just get in this really awkward position, and um, then my stomach just feels more empty on the top. So he was head up at my appointment on Wednesday, but I think last night he might have flipped again. And I'm crossing my fingers that he did. I don't know if he really did, because all I know is, like, what I can feel in here. But I just feel a bunch of feet and stuff on the top again, which is how it felt before. Um, so I'm hoping, and I'm thinking that he did flip again, but he could flip right back up again. So, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 32 week belly. So, here's with the shirt on. And here's with the shirt up. You can see all my stretch marks. See when I squish them together, you can see those ones, and then these ones are all. And also, my belly button piercing is turning into like one big stretch mark. My stomach is just going insane. No, it looks like I'm pretty much the same. I also haven't really, I've only eaten breakfast. Looks like I'm at almost 44, or pretty much 44 again. So, I didn't do much growing down here this week. However, I do think I got a little bit fuller up here, and that could just be the positioning. So, that is pretty much all for this week. If you don't like my Facebook fan page already, then go like that page because I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going to be doing um, labor updates. So I'm not a fan of Twitter anymore. Like, I did Twitter with Lilia, but I'm just like so used to Facebook now. I think I'm just going to do Facebook updates. So if you want to keep updated like when I go into labor and everything, then go like my Facebook page. And um, also you get more frequent updates like when I... Uh, when I go to my appointments and stuff, I'll update there, like, right away, so you can see. Other than that, I will talk to you guys for week 33. Bye!